Andrew, what's up, buddy? Well, we've been having a lot of luck with Ellie tonight. The last two breaks, we pulled Ellie in both of them. So maybe it's a maybe it's a good sign for you, my friend. This is a fresh case because I swear I'm going to rip my hair out if this one isn't better. <laughs> These cases, uh, the first two were. Eh. <laughs> All right, what's going on, everyone? Chris Shot Sports Cards here. We are doing 2024 Tops Heritage third case break number five. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Especially if you're new to the channel, welcome. A little bit about us. We've been around for over six years now. We break mostly baseball. We ship all cards from every break. We're very generous with the top loading, and we ship as quickly as our little hands will move. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. eBay continues to run their sweepstakes there's no purchase necessary there go to any of our ebay listings look in the description at the very top there's a link click on that do what it says and try to win some free cards i don't know who or what or when or where or how you do it but you can win some free cards so give it a shot and of course go check out chefsportscards.com um Speaking of the website, tomorrow the um, so Heritage Half Blaster Case One Thirty One is full. We're gonna break that tomorrow at four p.m. Eastern, so it'll be before all the eBay nonsense tomorrow night. If we did it tonight, it wouldn't even start till like twelve thirty, which is way too late for a lot of people who like to watch live. So we'll do it tomorrow at four. I will send in on, out an email. I know a lot of you guys are here already. Uh, just FYI. All right, let's go over the teams. Uh, D-backs, Jeff B, Braves, Andy O, Orioles, David B, Red Sox, Mark L, Cubs, Jeff B, White Sox, Todd F, Reds, Andrew P, Guardians, Podrick F, Tigers and Royals, J-O, Astros, Corey P, Angels, Todd F, Dodgers, Julius R, Brewers, Michael L, Twins, Todd F, Marlon, Stephen O, Mets, David B, Yankees, Michael C, A's, Roger G, Phillies, Ben M, Pirates, Todd F, Cardinals, Roger G, Padres and Giants, Robert H, Mariners and Rays, James M, Rangers, David B, and Blue Jays and Nationals, Todd F. Uh, as I said, if, for those of you who just got here, this is a fresh case we're starting here too. So let's, uh, you know. I'll say a little prayer to the gods for a better heritage case than we've been having. <laughs> oh my God, my blade is dead. We've had a couple decent things, but nothing, uh, you know, we need something that'll rock the boat, you know? Rock the boat. Uh, Gaylord Perry for Cleveland on the... Let's check out Gaylord's numbers. 1968 to 1983. So 20 years. 
He was 314 and 265 with a 311 ERA. He had one, two, three, four 20 win seasons. Can you imagine anybody having numbers like that now, like a 20 year career with the, you know, like, I don't think anyone would pitch that much anymore. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but pitchers these days are. Got to keep them on a pitch count. Wah, wah. <laughs> All righty. Let's open some cards. Good luck, everybody. All right. Come on, card gods. Be nice to us tonight. Been being nice to us so far. Let's continue it. Henry Davis, rookie. Oh, there's a black border. Black border, Kyle Higashoka. Higashioka for the Padres. That's two 50 copies from my buddy Robert. Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka. Well, it's a start. <laughs> Colton Cow's a rookie. Uh, Ryan's a fourth career no hitter. Who are they playing, Robert? Francisco Mejia, low numbered. That's the red show and dice error card. Wrong, wrong. It's not red show and dice in the picture. Blue Jays. Gotcha. Marte rookie. And J.P. Sears for. The A's, white bordered short print. They are one in 12 packs. Schwaba, Otani, new age performance. How about that kid down in Florida? You guys seeing him? He's like an eight-game home run streak, and he hit one 516 feet the other day, this Cags kid. <laughs> he is something else. <laughs> uh, Isaac Paredes, low number. Oh, yeah, man, that would be awesome. I believe me, if I was there, I would I would take advantage of that. Diane's a bit. Jordan Westberg, rookie. Aaron's 24th MLB All-Star appearance. Freilich rookie. Stuart Fairchild low number. Bobby Witt and Josh Lowe.
So <laughs> I've been kind of racking my brain like what we're going to break next week. I have no idea. There's this product coming out called Pulse Baseball. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Um, Tatis New Age Performers. It's, um, I bought, I got a case of it. It looks interesting. It's got a lot of uh, prospects in it and rookies and stuff like that. But it's supposed to come out this week, but I'm trying, I haven't been able to get confirmation that it's actually coming. So I'd like to add, post it for next weekend. Things always seem to lull a little bit before Bowman comes out. So I don't know. We'll see what we do, but I'm hoping that comes in. Bailey Falter, low number. 88 Fleer break. <laughs> I could get 88 Fleer. We could do it. I don't know. I just, I, I mean, I still have Heritage. I mean, we're going to do some Heritage next week too, but Heritage hasn't been very impressive to me so far. I mean, it's been fine. It's, I don't know. I go back and forth year to year on Heritage. Some years I love it and some years I'm like, hmm. In the first couple of cases, they've been so light on autographs. And believe me, I know it's, but I mean, I don't know if it's just the cases that we got, like I said, but uh, Superdome opens. And I know, you know, Heritage isn't necessarily about autographs, but I'm sorry, two, like 10 relics to two autos in a case, that's, that's just absurd. Uh, Kyle Finnegan, begin again. Of 88 Fleer the other day, really? Wow. Yeah, I was kind of looking around today on all the distributors trying to think of something from last year we could do. I was trying to see if I could get a hold of like a case or two of Gypsy Queen or something, you know, something we haven't done in a while that's got some players, you know, has good rookies in it or whatever, but. I don't know. Let's see what I can find. Got to do some digging. Because <laughs> in a couple of weeks, Bowman will be out. We'll be up to our ears in Bowman for a while. Uh, Yelich. I'll assume that this year, just uh, FYI, Bowman Megas will just have to do on the website because we can't do them on uh, eBay anymore, which is just absurd. Braxton Garrett for Miami, 60 of 75 for Steven. So I'm my my plan is to kind of just not worry so much about Bowman for the website, but the Bowman Megas on there and then do Bowman on eBay. Let's see how many cases show up. Uh, Brendan Rogers, low number. We can get that. I I don't even know if that it's so much about how much they're printing. I, I really think they actually cut back too. I mean they, they always print a ton of heritage. It's a uh Vladdy for Toronto for Todd. I mean it, it's a set builder's product. They get that. There's always a ton of it made. I mean they, they print as much as this as they do series one and any of those, but in the past, it always seemed to be like eight, four, seven, five relic to auto. And like I said, maybe I just got a couple of crappy cases to start out with, but yeah, I, I, I'm hoping he is, I'm assuming he's going to be, I sent, <laughs> I sent my son one from, uh, triple E. I pulled one that was like to 60, so I sent it down to my son in Tennessee. Chris Stratton, low number. I did get my, uh, my Bowman um, poster <laughs> the other day. It's up on the wall behind me for this year, the promotional poster. It's 
So it's coming. It's a coming soon. Sedane Raphael and Cal Raleigh White Porter for the Mariners. For James. The uh the Bowman baseball promotional material that you know just hang on my wall just for me to look at. <laughs> Yeah, well, we I did some tops. I did some Chrome update a few weeks ago. I was actually. It's funny you say that. That's one of the things I was actually looking for today. Let's see if I could get some for next week. I'll hunt around on DealerNet and see what people have. <clears throat> Brandon Drury, low number. All right. Well, the first box was nothing special, but let's see. Like I said, I do still have some heritage. We'll have, to have some heritage next week, and then uh, well, maybe top scrum update. Let's do that. Joe Tory. I like doing that 22 triple E because there's a ton of people and it's, you know, it's cheap for you guys to buy into. Like, how many guys have gotten Jackson Holiday autos out of there and paid like $20 for the spot, which is awesome. All right, box number two. We have one of those tomorrow night, actually. Evan Carter, rookie. World Series. Oh, okay, Michael L. Sorry, I just read it wrong. You know who you got. Sorry about that. My fault. Another black border. Drew Waters this time for the Royals. For J.O. Just my lousy handwriting, Michael. That's all. Uh, Adley. Sometimes my L's look like C's and... <laughs> The Betamax. Martin Maldano, low numbered. Interesting. All right. First off, we got Clayton Kershaw to $9.99 for the Dodgers. Then Christopher Morale Clubhouse Collection for the Cubbies. 
Uh, Cubs is Jeff. And Dodgers is Julius. That's uh, eight fifteen of nine ninety nine on the Kershaw. Gunner. Leotis Tavera's short print, the only high numbered short print, card number four oh seven. All right, white bordered Frank Thomas Jeff Bagwell. White Sox is Todd F. And Houston is Corey P. So we'll have to roll a dice on that one later. Uh, Seaver and Strider. <laughs> Gary Carpenter loan number. Remember when they used to do like the gum stain parallels and stuff? <laughs> Sean, well, that was the worst. <laughs> if, if, for those of you who haven't seen them, they used to do these gum stain parallels where they would have this weird like stain on the back. But the cards were so poorly made, you'd be like, is that, is that, I, I can't tell. <laughs> you couldn't tell what was a stain and what was it. Ari's low number. <clears throat> Tops had a few years there where they did some really weird parallels that was like the sparkle cards were some of the best. I've talked about those in the past. Like they had these cards where they put these sparkles on the card. So it was basically the base card with just a little tiny sparkle. Uh with Maryfield for the Blue Jays. And like you'd have people fighting with each other over there's there's no sparkle on here. Yeah, there is. It's right there. <laughs> like it's so stupid. Like, how about you just put a different picture on it and make it easy for everyone? They had that trout. That was always the one that trout. I think it was, when was it? Like, they did the sparkle cards for a few years. I think it was like 2014 or something like that. The outbreaks Mel Ott's 47-year-old record. Um... And the one was with Trout when he sliding into home base and the sparkle was like right on his toe. <laughs> People were like faking him and trying to draw him in and stuff. <laughs> so stupid. Jameson Tyon, low number. Uh, Freddie Freeman, New Age. Yeah, well, <laughs> tell me about it. They, uh, Tops has always been weird with that type of stuff. Guys on the right team, and then a guy was traded like six months earlier, still on his old team. They've done that forever. Uh, Tom Cosgrove. 
low number. Raphael. Alvarez and Bogarts. Skins. And Josiah Gray, low numbered. Tom Seaver. It's weird. We're not getting any. Uh, let's see. Seaver, 70 to 86, 311 and 205 with a 286 ERA. Wow. Lifetime 286. That's pretty impressive. Look at that. In 71, he was 20 and 10 with a 176 ERA. Whoa, mama. <laughs> That's no joke. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of buybacks. It's weird that we're getting all these box stoppers. All right, box number three. Uh, Ruiz and Wendell. Carter Rickey, Soviet unmanned space mission lands on Venus. Sure it did. <laughs> Ozzy Albies. Or the Bravos, uh, 369 of 999 for Andy. Brandon Woodruff on the back. Alex Cobb, low numbered. Dominguez, rookie. Ah, uh, Yastrzemski, white bordered for the Giants. Ah, uh, for Robert. Uh, Stanton and BB. Austin Hayes, low numbered. Hey, an autograph. 
Jose Thurman rookie auto for the Cardinals. Uh, for Roger. Jose Miguel Thurman. Uh, there were one every twelve packs, so it's not it's not a copy thing. It's just one every twelve. <clears throat> so there's like two per box on average. Receiver and Lee. Hey, there we go. Shohei Otani image variation for the Dodgers. That's a good one. Uh, Julius. Nice one, bud. He's thinking of his latest parlay. Hmm. Should I take the over or the under? <laughs> that is a good one. Congrats, Julius. Nice hit. Camposano, low number. Renzen and Lamont Wade Jr. White bordered for the Giants. For Robert. Uh, Boba Shett, New Age Performer, and Emerson Hancock. Now watch it. There's going to be another variation in this box. I have a feeling. Seems like there's like all or nothing. You get an autograph, two variations, all in one box. And Dominic Smith. What is his full name? Dominic David Renee Smith. Wow, that's a long one. Low number. <clears throat> oh, the weather's come. My allergies are killing me. Killing me. It's been like warm this week, and oh, I need to mow my lawn so bad. <laughs> it's like up around my knees. <laughs> And I'm just dreading going out there because I know I'm going to have like a hay fever attack. <laughs> Actually talk to my, it's weird. At the beginning of the year, I don't know if some of you guys get this too. Now, granted, I don't have like a lawn company. I've never done any of that kind of stuff. I always do it myself. <coughs> Whenever my lawn first grows in after the holiday, there's the uh, Otani short print, um, or after the winter, it's always kind of patchy at first so like i let it grow real long so it kind of catches up but it makes it look like i'm you know living in a shanty over here <laughs> so my neighbor because we share the lawn i'm like i saw him the other day i was like i think we better mow this weekend he's like yeah probably <laughs> I don't know when I'm just going to break down and have like some local. I mean, my lawn's not big or anything. It's not that big. And it's just really out front. Uh, Shures are like, we have, uh, you know, the, the landscaping crews that go around and they just like do the front lawn. It's like 40 bucks or something like that. And I'm like, every year I'm like, why don't I just set these guys up? Why do I even bother? It's 40 bucks. Just do it. <laughs> and then I still end up doing it. I don't know. Something rewarding about mowing your own lawn. I don't know. 
probably just all in my head because I'm not Jordan Walker low number. There was a time when I used to enjoy it. I don't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> like it was relaxing, but now it's just annoying. The Altar 8800. First commercially successful personal computer. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the discs. They were like 18 inches wide. <laughs> There's like no, there aren't even discs anymore, are there? Like, do they still use discs for anything? <laughs> I mean, I'm not really, you know, like for some of you out there who are in the computer business, like, does anyone use a disc for anything anymore? funny i saw uh, harold ramirez learn i saw some serial show like a I, I, don't know, I think it was like a bones or like one of those type of shows you know and they did a whole episode about wait what was, was it bones i don't remember what it was but they did this whole episode about how this guy owned like this big computer company and he supposedly had like the best uh um security in the world for his computer system and it just ended up that he had like a computer from the 80s that nobody knew how to use anymore with discs and stuff i was like wow they used to be really high tech back in the day <laughs> we all had our floppy discs manny machado new age performer yeah i can't even find something I have like a bunch of old pictures on DVDs that I'm like, I can't even find something to play a DVD on. <laughs> I'm like, wow. De La Cruz rookie. I was like, it's not even easy to find those. I think we dug out like one of my son's old ones that we used to use in the car, you know, when he was a baby. Uh, Carlos Santana. I think my wife found one in a, buried in a closet somewhere. But like, I even like old laptops and stuff none of them it doesn't work on any of them it's crazy oh, another box stopper nolan ryan this time for the angels we get all box stoppers tonight that's weird All right, box number four. Good luck, everybody. Ooh, hot box. We got a hot box, everybody. How can this box be better? It could be hot. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Bryce Harper. All right, Boba Shet for the Blue Jays. For to have a god box one of these times, that would be good. Make up for the crappy cases it's sent. Kevin Carter rookie. Uh, Juan Soto new age performers and Trey Turner for the Phils. Now, let's make this easier and just pull those off. Uh, Corey Seager for the Rangers. Mason Wynn, Trey Turner, Doval, low numbered. And Corbin Carroll with the uh, Rookie Cup. That's a nice one there for the D-backs. Steven Kwan on the back. Show me the Kwan. 
Show me the money. I was watching this afternoon, Gladiator. What a great movie. Pete Alonzo from the Mets. Doesn't, it, it totally holds up. You know the movie's 25 years old? Every time I watch a movie these days, I see how old it is, and I just feel old. <laughs> Rose of Rain, a low number. Like, I had it on, and even my wife was like, oh, is it Gladiator? I was like, yeah. She, I was like, do you know this movie came out like 25 years ago? <laughs> She's like, what? Uh, Bryce Hopper for the Phils. Nice one there. What a great movie. And if you ever watch, yeah, the Phils are doing all right. If you ever want to really laugh, and I'm sure many of you have seen this, but <laughs> if you watch the movie Pineapple Express, and if you haven't seen it in a while, I recommend you watch it again. In the scene where they have the fight with, uh, what's his name, Danny? <laughs> well, whatever his name is in the movie, but you know what I mean. Uh, Riley Green for the Tigers. And he... During the fight, he's like using all these lines from Gladiator. It is the funniest thing. Uh, Jason Dominguez for the Yanks. It is so funny. <laughs> I actually was had that on like a month or two ago, Pineapple Express, and I was doing cards and I was just listening to it, like just for noise, you know. And that scene came on, and I never noticed him doing that before because they're like fighting, you know, they're yelling, they're this and that, and he keeps saying lines from Gladiator. To me. It's so funny. Uh, Clayton Kershaw, he's like, "What you do in life echoes in eternity." <laughs> uh, it's a good one, man. He was uh, Russell Crowe was no joke. He was built like a brick shit house in that movie. Uh, Jazz for the Marlins. That movie's very funny. Pineapple Express, it's so stupid. <clears throat> Patrick Sandoval, low numbered. The Bane Raphael rookie. Ah, another autograph. Trey Cabbage this time, rookie auto for the Angels. Nice Kowser and Estuary Ruiz for the A's. Look at that. Two relics and two autos. How nice. That's the way it should be. Uh, Angels is uh, Todd. There you go, buddy. Trey Aaron Cabbage. Hmm. Interesting name. Tray of cabbage. Like that. I'm sure that's what people said to him all the time. Like, you don't think his parents thought about that when they rename him Trey? People are going to call him Tray of Cabbage. Let's name him something else. Mitch Keller, Max Scherzer for the Rangers. Yeah, Phillies are having their up and down days. They're doing okay. They're uh, they're they're starting to put it together a little bit. Springer for the Blue Jays. Um, things were looking a little tough there in the beginning, but they seem to be working it out. Alec Baum was the man tonight. Two home runs, six RBIs. He was crushing it. And Merrifield hit one too, right? What Merrifield? Castellanos could actually get a hit every once in a while. It might do them some good. Uh, Jonah Heim, all star catcher for the Rangers. Oh, some rookies. How about some rookies? Yeah. My buddy Ben. Look at that. Papa. Uh, 146 of 999 on the Bryce Harper. Nice one, Ben. What we do in life echoes an eternity. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, it's little things that make me laugh. 
Yeah, I, he is. And, and I mean, look, when he was in college, he was, and I think that's why, I mean, it took him a, some time to get things going. Uh, he was a home run machine in college. Kodai Singer for the Mets. And uh, you're starting to see it more. I mean, his, his glove's gotten a lot better, and he's a good player. He really is. Uh, Westberg. Justin Riley and Yelich. I love the Phillies. I do. In fact, I'm going to the game on Sunday. Um, oh. <laughs> Andrew. Andrew, my friend. There you go, buddy. Well, De La Cruz on the Proipo. Proipo. Something. It's something. If I showed you the De La Cruz we pulled out of big league, your head would spin. Because <laughs> I still can't get over that hit. There you go. Nice Ellie. You know, maybe Baum can teach Castellanos how to hit because he can't get anything out of the infield almost. He's a really weird player. That is a Sal Freilich image variation rookie for the Brew Crew. Uh, for Michael. Very nice. Freilich image variation rookie. Oh, what came out of big league? You want to see? I'll show you. See, this is why you open big league. I know a lot of people laugh about big league or, oh, it's cheap. It's this, it's that. But every once in a while, get something like that. <laughs> the 25. Seven of 25 out of big league. Ellie De La Cruz to the moon. Man, Sean was very happy, as he should have been. Uh, Luis Patino for the White Sox. Yeah, that thing was awesome. Uh, Curtis Mead, rookie for the Rays. Now some rookies are starting to show up. Uh, oh, okay. Otani. In Braves, uh, Angels Otani, though, which is Todd, and Braves is Andy. So we're going to have to roll a die on that one, too. A little rando action. Yeah. No, Big League was great. We had four autos out of five boxes, and... Had some short printies and all kinds of stuff. Johan Duran, short print. Man, Phillies are killing it in here. Johan Rojas, rookie for the Phils. Ben's loving this. I think we've got, like, almost the whole Philly set in the uh, purple. Uh, Jordan Westberg, rookie. See, here come the rookies. Nice for the Orioles. Here comes the fun. Do, 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 do. Trey Cabbage and Jeff McNeil, white border for the Mets. Here comes the sun and I say for David. There you go, buddy. It's all right. Matt Veerling, yeah. Uh, Slade Shikoni for the D-backs. Well, th that's my only, that's my real concern with the Phillies. And I know, and some people agree with me, some people don't. They have a window here that they have got to get it done because we do not have a very good farm system. And we got a couple guys down there, but honestly, unless they do something dramatic, we're going to have some thin years down the line. Pete Crow Armstrong rookie. It's like they put all the rookies at the back. For Jeff. Um... Which worries the hell out of me. These guys start getting old and slowing down. We don't have a ton of people to replace them with. <laughs> oh, 
although too you get guys who develop who you're not expecting and so on and so forth but i don't know it it seems like there's some teams out there oh evan carter rookie jeez nice one for pxs um it seems like some teams are you know are so loaded in the minors it's crazy and the Phillies are not necessarily one of them. Uh, George Kirby for the Mariners. Jordan Lawler, rookie. Martinez. All right, a couple packs left. Mm -hmm. Freddie Freeman for the Dodgers. And Freddie 2000 hit short print. These are the last pack of the break. Jose Ramirez for the Guardians. Nestor and Varsha. All righty. That is going to do it. That is going to do it. All right. We had a little something, a little better than it's been. Still, we could do better, but not bad. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. As always, I couldn't do this without y'all, and I do truly appreciate it. Uh, bear with me for one sec here and put a quick hit recap together, and then we'll do the random on those couple white border cards. Oh, yeah, we got the Otani. Not, not horrible. Definitely a better case so far than what we've had. So, going in the right direction. <clears throat> couple black borders. Actually, we had that black chrome, 2 to 75. That's good stuff. All right. Um, just don't mind me. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Trying to remind me what we actually have. It's all loaded for this guy. I thought Painter, doesn't he have to get a TJ? I thought he needed Tommy John surgery. Or am I thinking of the wrong guy? I, th I swear I thought they said he needed Tommy John. All right, so we have two white border that we need to rando roll a die on. Uh, first up is the home run leaders, if I can get it in the sleeve. Uh, between the Angels and the Bravos. All right, so we got Otani with the Angels in this one and uh, Matt Olson with the Braves. So Otani's going to be one, two, and three. Matt Olson's going to be four, five, and six on the day. Uh, da, 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 stay back. Uh, the T is a one, just FYI. It needs to stay on the screen, and it can't hit anything. Like if it knocks into a card or whatever, we roll it again. So good luck. Here we go, and it didn't stay on the screen. Uh, damn it, I just dropped it. Okay, let's get the other one. Oh, come on, Christian. Are you kidding? There we go. It is a four. It's going to the Bravos on that one. Braves. All right. And then we got this other one, the 94 most valuable player between Houston and the White Sox. Frank Thomas and Jeff Bagwell.
Uh, so again, Thomas will be one, two, and three. Bagwell will be four, five, and six. Same deals. Got to stay on the screen. Stay on it. Did and it's two. So that one's going to the White Sox and Frank Thomas. White Sox, as you can see by my horrible handwriting. All right, all right. Let's do a quick hit recap. Uh, here. All right, so rookies, we are doing a hit recap for 2024. A Tops Heritage, third case break, number five. Rookies of Dominguez, three times and Ellie once. White Borders, uh, Sears, Raleigh, Merrifield, Yastrzemski, Wade, and McNeil, plus the ones we just, um, we just did the randoms on. We did have a hot box, so let's check them out. Ramirez, Freeman, Kirby. Uh, Carter rookie, Armstrong rookie, Stoney rookie, Westberg rookie, Rojas rookie, Mead rookie. <laughs> They're all in a row for some reason. Uh, Senga, Heim, Springer, Scherzer, Ruiz, Chisholm, Kershaw, Green, Hoppe, Alonzo, Carroll, Seeger, Turner, and Bichette. And we did have a Ellie de la Cruz in there also. Very delicious. We'll make sure those are all sleeved and top loaded lovelies other hits we had two black borders uh higasawa and waters for the royals we had the image variation shohei otani nice one there and we had an image variation rookie sal fralick numbered parallels clayton kershaw to nine to 999 ozzy albies to 999 hoppa to 999 braxton garrett to 75 relics of vladdy and christopher morrell and then autographs of Jose Fairman and Trey Cabbage, respectively. All right, folks, again, thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see everybody tomorrow night. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.